I bought another collection, and if you're a Spider-Man fan, this one's for you. All right, guys, we are going to get into this collection. There is so much to go through, literally over 100 slabs, as well as a couple raw stuff, but we'll, we'll get into it in a little bit. Uh, first thing, you guys know what to do, subscribe, comment, blah, 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 all that. Hit me up on all those social medias, very Gary underscore comics, especially whatnot. A lot of the books you're going to see in this video are going to appear on whatnot, as well as the YouTube auctions. With whatnot, download the app. There's a link down below. Get $10 off your first purchase. Now, with that, we are going to get into this. Uh, I'm going to give you fair warning right now before we even get into this video. There will no, there will be no price discussion and I apologize. Uh, there is a few different reasons, but most importantly, this was a friend of mine, a good friend of mine who decided to move his collection for several reasons, none financial. Um, he will not be leaving the hobby. He's just taking a time out while he's doing some stuff. Don't want to get into it, but again, we are not going to talk dollars and cents about this collection, okay? So first though, uh, also he actually came to me. There were so many, there was 25 short boxes as well as I believe six short boxes of slabs. So with all that stuff, I couldn't fit it in my car. We lived so far apart. <laughs> what he ended up doing is renting a U-Haul, coming to my house, I covered all of his expenses and uh, we just went through everything. So everything is in my room in this whole video and I, there's there's not a whole lot to discuss afterwards because I just recorded so much stuff while in the I, let's just get into it here's the collection all right guys so here we go I, I really don't even know where to start with this collection all these BCW boxes are all slabs you're looking at one two three four five six boxes of slabs and what three six nine twelve fifteen sixteen short boxes then you have another four that's 20 and another four that's 24 short boxes collection already uh, also came with some statues um a lot of stuff and then it even came with a uh a stanley funko pop so uh i guess we'll just start digging into oh wait what's under here oh a thanos a thanos statue uh I'm just going to take you guys over here and just start. I'm going to go through this box of slabs. I mean, they're tight. Um, they're tight, but uh, oh, there's the first Ned Leeds. Let me just pull that one aside. I'll just pull anything with a bag out. Then we'll flare. There's the first Craven. Uh, what else do we have here? This is the first appearance of Mac Gargan. I think it's a cameo, though. So. Here, let's get into here. Uh, ASM Annual 1. This is a Canadian edition. Restoration includes small amount of glue on spine. 0.5 incomplete. There's ASM 8. There's ASM 9. There's Electro. That's a nice book. ASM 10. 12. Third Doc Ock. 13. Mysterio. 3.5, nice affordable affordable grades here. 16 and a 5.5, five, first Daredevil crossover. Uh, what is this? Second Green Goblin and a 6.5, that's a nice book. Scorpion and a 3. Again, affordable. ASM 25, first cameo of Mary Jean. Here's Molten Man and a 6.5, nice grade on an old black cover. 30, 31, I love this book, you guys know how I feel about this, there's another 31 restored, restoration includes, small amount of color touch on cover, probably won't be sending that back, uh, first J. Jonah James. or I'm sorry, Norman Osborn, J. Jonah Jameson, what's the matter with me, uh, 38, here's the second Mary Jane cameo, that's a 6 oh, that's a nice book, classic did go here, or I'm sorry, Ramita, sorry, uh, Great cover, great book. Back to back, huh? 3.5 there. First Rhino and a 5.0. Uh, second Rhino, but isn't it a first? Oh, Mary Jane's face revealed in a 5.5. Okay. Uh, Shocker in a 5.5. That's the first Shocker. First Kingpin in a 4.5. First Mary Jane cover in a 6.5. So let's, uh, let's swing over to this box. 
All right. So I pulled some some books out here. 375, 410. Those are 298s. Uh, 430. So let's start flipping through. What do we got here? 51, which is the first Gwen cover. And an 80. Beautiful. First Prowler. And an 80. Great grade. We got Morbius in a 65. Very nice. This is that second print from 92. Uh, that silver cover. This is actually, uh, you guys would be shocked. This book's a little pricey here. This Hulk Spidey cover. Death of Gwen Stacy in a 7-0. And then 7-0, Death of Green Goblin. Nice linear pair. Just a, just a Bronze Age. High-grade bronze. High-grade bronze. And then Black Cat in a 9-0. That book's been getting real hot. Let's plug this in there, and then what else we have here? First Hydro Man in a 7.5. Oh, Origin, first appearance of new Captain Marvel, Monica Rambeau. That's a nice book right there. And a 9.4. Hobgoblin in a 9.4. Great book. I think that's cooled off a little bit, though. 9.6, old label. Look at that. Original CGC label. First Black Suit in ASM. Ah, just miscellaneous. Silver Sable. In an 8.5. Here we go. ASM 300, 9.4. ASM 300, Little Guy. The Spider-Man 2 Special Edition DVD Promotional. This little number here is in a 9.4. And then ASM 300, the Niagara Falls Canada Promotional reprints ASM 300. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> 3.16 and a 9.8. Classic McFarlane. And then this is the newsstand in a 7.5. Oh, Carnage in a 9.6. Last but not least, we've got ASM 365 and a 9.8. First, Spidey 2099. All right, so I'm just going to flip through this last box here. Uh, you know, just show you some stuff. You know, a lot of Spidey variants here. A lot of Spidey variants. we got some signed stuff. Oh, Jason, oh, that's Mike Mayhew with the nice, look at the nice sketch up there. Uh, there's a lot of... J. Scott Campbell signed stuff in 9.8, which is great. You know, it's look at I like that one actually with the sketch there. 9.8. Uh, what do we got here? Shannon Mayer signed on the bottom left corner there. 9.6. So a lot of a lot of gold label stuff in here. What do we got here? Uh, Mark Brooks signature. That's a great book. But let's just flip over here. It's a lot of Spidey. We've got an ASM one. This is the Marvel Authentics Bagley with the sketch there. Uh, Catwoman 51, this might be staying in the PC. It is signed. It is a 9.8. I actually have a 9.8 for myself, just not signed. Another Adam Hughes here, Spider-Gwen number one. J. Scott Campbell, Spider-Gwen number one, signed in a 9.8. This is a 300 number one, signed by Frank Miller. Terrible signature, though, Frank Miller. Come on. Infinity Gauntlet, dual sign, George Perez, Joe Rubenstein. Uh, what do we got? Gwenpool special number one, Midtown variant in a 9-4. There's the first Infinity Gauntlet in an 8-0. Lock and key number one, Dynamic Forces in a 9-2. Just a lot of randoms in here, though. Uh, we got the USPS book in here in a 9-8. Actually has the uh, Fantastic Four on the back, which is cool. Let's stick that in there. Uh, Revival number one signed. Dual signed. That's cool. And a nine, eight, another revival number one dual sign. That's a second print. Lady Death Chaos Rules. That's signed by Dawn McT. I can't even pronounce that. What else we got? A Gen 13 signed by J. Scott Campbell and Jim Lee. That's great. Danger Girl one. And then we've got a monstrous one sign dual signed. I don't know where the signatures are. But I don't know where the signatures are. Is sign on the back? Uh, well, it says it's signed. I believe it. Maybe it's signed in the book. Or I just can't see it. I don't know. You guys don't see it. Ah. Oh, top right corner in gold. And there. Okay, it's in gold. Boy, that's hard to see. That's hard to see. All right, that's enough of the slabs. Let's take a look at... Well, let me just pull some more stuff out. Just some random stuff here. Uh, ASM, what's that, 8, 798, and we'll just pull something else random here, ASM 15 here, 
Aspen. This is Michael Turner stuff. Uh, another J. Scott Campbell 9.8. It's a great book signed. So there you go, guys. A good idea of what's in here. So, all right, let's uh, let's pull some raw stuff. All right, guys. So I'm just gonna go through one box of raw stuff, but um, it's a good one. <laughs> I mean, here we go, ASM 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 44, 47, 48, 49, 50, you saw with slide, and then here's the first kingpin cover. And at this point, it's literally everything. 55, 56, 57, 58, 60, 2, 3, 64, 65. You know, at this point, I believe anything that's not in here is slabbed. And we went through a bunch of the slab stuff. This will be the last box we go through. I am going to pull some stuff to talk about. Um, you know, some other raw stuff. But I wanted to just blow through this to show you, like... Uh, maybe I'll show you one more raw box. Let me look at one. It's kind of a long video. But one more one more raw box. There's 100. Oh, another one of the 101s. These are reprints. 102 is a really good book these days. Um, but, yeah, we'll... Uh, Look at this. We will definitely... I'm going to go through one more box. Have to. Because... All right. Spidey. I know 129 is missing, but... There it is. <laughs> all right. Let me uh, let me grab... Let me hop into one more box. All right. Here's the last box we're going to go through. This is that... Look at all the Spidey ones. The sketch. And then we got variants galore here. Uh, this is that Silk Run. Look at all the Spidey ones. Da, da, da. And all these. Okay, and then eventually... So mid here we go. So we got the first Silk here. And this is actually a second print. There are some first prints too that were graded. Here's the second Silk. Some variants. That's a good book. That's a good book. Um, ton of Spidey. I mean, just a ton of Spider-Man. This is actually going to be a lot of work. A lot, I don't, a lot of pricing and stuff, but it's all right. It's all fun and games. All right, let me, uh, I got to break this collection down and actually pull some stuff out to talk about. All right, guys, so you saw the vast majority of it. This guy literally had a complete Amazing Spider-Man run almost from about issue 20 or 25 on through 800. I mean, everything. Some great variants, some exclusive stuff, some signed stuff, a lot of J. Scott Campbell, some Adam Hughes, some Mike Mayhew, a lot of stuff like that. But that's not all. He had all the Amazing Spider-Man, but he also had like a full run of uh, Wonder Woman from the start of Rebirth to like a month ago, every A and B cover, like the whole thing. And Wonder Woman 750, he had like 10 different covers. Uh, he had the whole Batman Rebirth run starting from number one. He had a whole bunch of Detective Comics 1000 variants. I mean, I'm looking at a whole bunch of stuff over there, like just tons of stuff, Silk runs, Spider-Gwen runs, like a lot of stuff. Uh, and again, the slabs, man, over a hundred slabs. Every amazing Spider-Man key that he owned was slabbed. Not everyone, right? Not every single one, but anything worth slabbing, Amazing Spider-Man wise, was slabbed, except one book. The only book we're going to talk about now because we already discussed it in the video. The only one he did not get graded, which was on his short list of books to get graded, was Amazing Spider-Man 700. This is the Ditko variant, a very difficult book to find, a very difficult book to get in a 9.8 because if you guys know that ASM 700 is a very thick book and very easy to get a spine tick in that thing. And this one does have a couple. I am going to send this out to CGC because I believe even in a 9.4, this is like a four or $500 book. I could be wrong. My numbers could be a little skewed, but it's a big boy one. So uh, you guys saw everything and I know no, we said, I said earlier in this video that we will not be talking pricing and we're not going to, but I do want to hear from you. What do you think about this collection? And this is the kind of collection that like makes me stop, pause and be like, do I want to collect Amazing Spider-Man? Because it's right here. And some of the books that he didn't have, I already did. Like the first Doc Ock, like the first Green Goblin. I have those already. So now, you know, if I decide, all right, I'm going to keep all the keys, just the keys like I do with Batman. I'm only missing 
Issue one, with technically Chameleon. Issue two, which is Vulture. And issue four, do I have a lizard? I think I would be missing just Sandman. So like, that's pretty darn close. And the Amazing Fantasy 15. Never owned one, never found one in the wild. Just for just putting that out there. So, you know, positive things, thinking, you know, put the vibe out there. Yes, I will come across an AF-15. I will come across an AF-15. Uh, chances are I'm not going to be keeping these books because... I don't know. I'd have to redo my whole room. Who wants to do that? I'd paint one side red and blue and then probably the Batman side gray. And I'm not going to do that. Then I have to buy Bat uh, Spider-Man statues. We're not going to do that. Instead, all this stuff's going to be sold. Oh, there was also statues that came in this collection. There was like a sideshow black cat and some of those smaller Marvel galleries. And uh, there's a Thanos statue, uh, a couple DC direct statues, you know, nothing crazy nothing crazy but that's the whole collection you guys got the vast majority of it it took a very long time to go through these and price these and break them up on what's being bulked what's being sold individually what's being graded well just the one book huh? and then pricing out all the slabs this took a very long time but the books were already bagged boarded and organized which always helps that's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This was the first one for February, the first collection for February. I know we're late into the month that this is being posted, but this was purchased earlier in the month. It always takes time to record, edit, go through these things, and then post the video. So that's it for me. Thank you guys so, so much for sticking around for this video. I do appreciate it. And as always, keep it comics.